York City Fashion Week, hailing a taxi has suddenly become very much in vogue. Normally, it used to be that one would go to a department store to buy their cosmetics, but now it's as easy as getting into a New York City cab. As part of a Fashion Week promotion, 50 taxis are transforming themselves into high-tech hotspots, where people can shop for beauty products with their smartphones. It's a collaboration between Glamour Magazine and a few cosmetics giants to promote a new shopping experience. Well, Glamour is a brand that reaches women really 18 to 40 years old, and these are the women who are actually on their cell phones shopping and buying. And we thought, what better way to give them the opportunity than stuck in a cab to actually do some beauty shopping on, as you get to and from your appointments. How do you think it's going to work? I think it's going to work fine. That needs to be a first to everything. Absolutely. The way this works is if you have a smartphone, you download the Glamour Shop app. You have a circle that's downloaded to your phone, and then you hold it up to this logo in the taxi, and then you'll be able to... But as with all new technologies, it can take a little getting used to. <laughs> I've never been technologically savvy. <laughs> and once you find the tag, you're ready to shop. You get concealer. Mascara. Which mascara? Buy now. Oh, we spent $233. Wow. In 15 seconds or less, I've done makeup shopping. Would it necessarily do away with department stores way down the road? I'm not sure. I think this is complimentary. I think, you know, the consumer decide where they shop. We don't decide any longer. So the whole idea about that is that we go there where they go. Period. Outside venerable department store Saks Fifth Avenue, some shoppers hail this new technology. Would, would be nice to, to have, like, to drive and buy all the same time. Others? Not so sure. I don't want to insult anybody, but I like to go in and feel it and touch it, whether it's strawberries or makeup or clothes. Uh, I would not be the person to do this. We'll find out soon whether this new technology will be a runway success. Felicia Taylor, CNN, New York.